Okay, hi, we are Heinz, uh, we are from Spain, from Madrid, and we are a band that started like uh, almost not, two years ago. Almost two years, but not two years yet. And um, well, we were friends before, and then we decided to have a band, and now the band brings us to Brussels. <laughs> <laughs> it's messy, it's honest, and it's. Uh, Dirty pop or something. <laughs> <laughs> we started playing outside more than what we were playing in Spain, but because we had more attention outside, like people, we had more fans in Europe and in America than in our country. Okay. It's just it goes slower in Spain. Like in the rest of the world, people doesn't care about um, if this band have an album or not to like the music. Like if they like them, they want to promote them and to support them and stuff. And in Spain is more like you really have to have an album to be like respected or something. So as we have an album out, now, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, suddenly it works. The first contest we did um, gave us like we won it, so we could go to Berlin to record uh, our second single. And once we were there, we're like, okay, let's try and play a show. So we had to play like with the oldest and weirdest instruments ever, and it was pretty fun. <laughs> The crowd, it's so different. It's it's surprisingly different everywhere. Like in in America, people is like more. At least our crowd is like more young, so it's like all the gigs are more like wild and I don't know why, but they 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 go super intense with music. Like they really love it with with a passion. And I think in Europe is um, music is more uh, like an intellectual. Uh, I mean, people appreciate it more in an intellectual way, like, like, I really love this guitar tune and I think this melody is just so good and they don't go as crazy as could be the American crowd. We haven't played Japan, we, I mean, it's, we, it's already booked, we're going in in a couple of months, but we know we have fans because we played Hong Kong and like a few people flew from Japan to Hong Kong to see us and still like a lot of comments and also in, yeah. in Brazil in, in Brazil, in Brazil, in Argentina but where are you writing? in Bali, no? Uh, in Indonesia ah, in Indonesia, in Indonesia <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 apparently it's like, like going very well the music scene around there it's like, yeah of course, like supporting the music in any way I think is super nice mm -hmm. like, we miss that a lot in Spain like music is not valorated at all in the way you guys take care of it, and and for us like watching it like as you said like public um, institution insti institution that um, that is for this is for bringing bands and and having gigs in their cities. I think it's just like it's just the best. It's like a dream. Like seriously, for us, <laughs> it's a dream. We just had the our, like our elections. And we're looking at the um, the parties, the parties, like all the parties, what they said about music, and none of them even talked about it. It's totally like I don't know. It blows our minds to see how like in Europe everything works. Like so many young people, so many old people. Yes. Like in the like, it's just in the culture. Like mm. it's something beautiful and something that people really appreciate, and that makes it be in the public institutions totally. and politics and everything. So it's great. Yeah, and you don't take it as a part of education at all. Like we yeah. don't take care of it at all. We think it's just like a leisure thing, and not like a thing that can make a better world at all. Adios, Bye. Bye. Thank you for everything. Bye. <laughs>